good morning. It is cruise day. And let me tell you, this is the coolest cruise port morning that I think we've ever had because literally we walked out of our hotel, turned and could see that ship from our hotel. We are literally walking with our luggage the two blocks from the guild to the ship. I mean, it is right there. This is crazy. And so there's three ships in port today. There is us on the Norwegian Jewel. There is the Disney Wonder next door to us. And then there's a princess ship. I think the princess is just important for the day where the other two are loading up passengers. How cool would it be to come to San Diego as a for, you know, for the day on a cruise port and walk off the ship and see this. Look at all these food vendors, local food, any kind of food you want right there. Ready? Ready. Let's do this. The weather looks like it's starting to clear up. So I got up early this morning, walked down to the port here and it was real overcast. The sun is coming out now. So ah, I'm feeling it a little bit better. I love the whole art of the Norwegian ships. The jewel's looking pretty awesome over there. Can't wait to get on her. It's so weird. We were just here yesterday and we went all up and down this area and it was empty. There were no ships in port yesterday. So to come out and see three ships sitting here, pretty cool. Well, we made it through the very long line outside, went through security, dropped our bags. Now we're in the line for check-in and I think we get to go straight on the ship once we're checked in. We are all checked in, we have our cards, and we can board the ship. Now, you ready? Yes. Let's go. We made it on board the Norwegian Jewel. It's a beautiful day here in San Diego. Feels good to be back on board a ship. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too, let's go eat. It is indeed a beautiful day to get on a ship, but isn't every day a beautiful day to get on a ship? But the sun is out now. Nice temperature outside, probably mid-60s. A little cooler than it was yesterday, and here we are. This feels familiar. It's very much like the Pearl layout in here. So they are going back to the E uh, muster drill, so we have to go to our muster station and check in before we can do anything else. Just like that, muster is over. I love that. I love the older ships. But I, I gotta just say, there's something swanky and cool about these See, older like ships. Them. Nostalgic. I love them. Just love them. Yes. It is so good they went back to the e-muster. We tried the regular old school muster on breakaway back in January didn't go over very well. So this is so much easier, so much more efficient. You check in with your muster station, you watch the safety video before you board, they ask you if you know how to put on a life jacket, they'll show you if you need to know, and then we're done. Now we can go enjoy our day. Ah, uh, the smell of the buffet is permeating the air as we get closer up the stairs to it. Okay, a couple more flights. <laughs> we're burning calories before we go replenish them. First, to the room, drop the luggage. Washy washy. Tummy. Salad and a little sandwich. Mm. First meal of the cruise. Chicken, more chicken, roast beef with um, First try to sauce and some vegetables. At least that's my first round. <laughs> we'll do like we always do, go into it with wishful thinking. Right. We'll try to do good. We'll see how it goes. It's <laughs> a so good first meal on board. I like to start off any cruise with a salad. You know, get in the right mindset of eating healthy. <laughs> At least I, I try every cruise. That pizza over there is calling my name. Norwegian pizza is really good. We'll see. Anyway, but ate my salad, but this was really yummy. It was just this little mortadello and cheese sandwich on focaccia bread, and this bread is delicious. So good. I'm gonna try and stop here. 
All right, we're gonna walk around and explore the ship a little bit. I love coming up here. It's nice and cool outside right now. And just getting this vantage point of San Diego. We've got the USS Midway on this side of us. We've got the Disney Wonder and the Discovery Princess on this side of us. All of San Diego Bay behind us. Sunshine, blue skies. Really pretty port. Really, really pretty. Beautiful day it's turning out to be. Yesterday was absolutely a stellar day. They've had a lot of bad weather for the last couple months here yeah. in California. And uh, we got lucky. Weather gods are with us today. Thank you. Let's go explore. This ship has got a fantastic Lido deck. I mean, look at this. There's two very large pools, lots of space to spread out, lots of loungers on the lower deck and this upper deck. There's a bar called the Pit Stop. This reminds me, it's like they've taken it from uh, like a 50s diner. So it's got a little bit of the like American diner feel on some of the ships. And then the new, new ships over by the racetrack have a, a little bar that looks like that. So it's been incorporated in. This is cool. I love this Lido deck. We've come up here on the sun deck. They don't have any chairs out. So it's just like wide open spaces up here got a great view. We can see down on the Lido deck. We can see down the other cruise ships next to us. We can see all of San Diego around us. What? You know, you cruise a lot when you've been on all the ships in port. <laughs> so we've been on the Disney Wonder and we've been on Discovery Princess and now we've been on Norwegian Jewel. Yeah, I love these older ships. They just, like all the venues, the clubs, just the rooms in general, they feel so much more open and bigger well they are you know all these newer ships and i love them not picking on them but it feels like they have just like a whole bunch more smaller rooms i like the wide open spaces of these older ships i love the feel of these older ships it's just really cool to get on one you know it's like going back in time but in a good way when things were funky <laughs> at least it's, Lisa's doing some uh, some ballerina <laughs> There's just stuff. so much room. By the way, we absolutely love San Diego. We only had one day here, but we did as much as we possibly could in that one day, and we will be back. I could not agree more. Very cool city. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Well, welcome to our balcony cabin. Let's show you around a little bit. First thing I wanna say is that this ship has been recently refurbished and you really feel it in the cabin. This does not feel like an older ship when you walk in here. The decor feels more modern and there's USBs in here, which I'll show you in a second, which make this a more you know comfortable and more modern cabin. This particular one will sleep four. It's, this is a family balcony, but they're all laid out the same. You have your king bed, which will make into two twins. You have a sofa bed that makes into a bed. And you have, in this cabin, a bunk that comes down from the ceiling. On the side of the bed is a nightstand, and then you have a lamp on each side. This is awesome. If you look underneath, there's a USB to charge your phone while you're sleeping. So both lamps on both sides have a USB right here by the bed. You have a small living area right here. So the sofa, you can sit two people comfortably on here. This does make into a bed as well. Then over here, we have storage shelves on the side. Underneath here, you can see there are two USBs and one plug. For more storage, you have three small drawers and your hair dryer is right there. Coming over to this side, there's this long uh, shelf right here, which I really like. This is great for, you know, putting your backpacks and things like that that you're gonna need every day in port. It's a really good grab and go station. Shelves underneath. This is a little refrigerator right here. And then your TV is on a swivel, so you can just push it back against the wall like that to put it out of the way or you can swivel it out and it came unhooked. So over by the TV, you have one plug and one European plug down here. And then behind the TV is a bonus plug as well. 
a two-door closet right here so on the inside we have two drawers at the bottom with hanging above and this is also where your life jackets are kept there is a safe in here and then on the other side there is hanging and your life jackets the coolest thing about these is that the light comes on when you open it. There's so many times you're in your cabin, the hallway is kind of dim, and you can barely see in your closet. So having those lights come on is kind of a big deal. Bathroom time. Let me just say, this is a great layout. So the Jewel class of ships has this. Then when they went to the breakaway, they changed it and it was a smaller bathroom. And now they've gone back to this layout. You should have stayed with this the whole time. This is a great layout. Um, so in here, you have a nice spacious bathroom. You've got your sink right here in the middle. You've got your toilet to one side and your shower to the other. But look at the shower. It's a full size shower. It's not one of those little small corner units. It's large, you can stretch out in it. It does have a door, not a shower curtain. And of course there's the balcony. So out here, this is a nice size balcony. So this is me stretching out. So you can tell it's not, there's some ships that have very, very shallow balconies. There's a lot of room to walk out here. So that's nice. We've got two chairs and a table and uh, plenty of room to stretch out. right here. This is for no. Every night. tell the story of this. <laughs> uh, kind of fell. It's funny. Okay, so we were over there getting a, we were right over there getting the uh, time lapse of the sail away party. Battery died. Went to change the battery. I had to take it out of its case to change the battery. And, and it I dropped it. Fell on top of that white overhang down there. <laughs> So luckily, a very nice crew member got a broom and swept it over to me so I could pick it up. <laughs> we were, you know, trying to capture the sail away on camera and didn't capture the sail away. You know what I mean? We were, yeah, we were working! <laughs> so after sail away, we went to our cabin, unpacked everything, chilled for a bit, and now it is 7 o'clock and it's time 
for our dining reservation at Moderno. We haven't eaten in Moderno since our first NCL cruise. So I'm excited to give this another try. Okay, we are at Moderno Churrascaria. I think I said that right. This is a Brazilian steakhouse. So how it works is we are gonna go to the salad bar, get whatever we want. Um, they're gonna bring us some traditional Brazilian sides for the table, and then we have these cards. So green means bring meat, red means I'm done. And all the meats we can choose from is filet mignon, flank steak, top sirloin, Parmesan crusted chicken drumettes, bacon wrapped chicken breast, lamb top sirloin, pork loin, Brazilian pork sausage, and pork belly. So there's quite a lot to choose from here. Let's give this a try. This is way more than a salad bar, so they do have salad. But then they have like big chunks of mozzarella, sun dried tomatoes, all kinds of stuff down here. Little bit of a Caesar salad, some cheese. They have yummy different types of cheese, some potato salad, but they just brought the bread. So if I remember correctly, this bread's really, really good. It's filled with cheese. <sighs> yep, that's good. I think we both enjoyed the salad bar. Both of us have pretty much clear everything we put on our plates. We'll say that this, the potato salad was surprisingly good. And we both had a salad and some veggies and I had bread, Jason did not. And now we have flipped to green and we are waiting for them to take this and then bring on the meat. Oh, the meat is here. Oh, All right, okay, the sides have arrived. They have brought rice, mushrooms, beans, mashed potatoes, and yuca. And the first big old stick of meats come around and they have filet mignon, which this is medium, so I got some medium. Jason is waiting for the medium rare to come. Steak. <laughs> I got a piece of chicken. Right. Got a, a little weenie. <laughs> got my chicken? Got my little weenie. Let's try my little weenie. <laughs> Is it hot? It's a hot wiener. <laughs> it's a heart wiener. Very crunchy. Very crunchy. It's not a good wiener. <laughs> I'm gonna try and catch it. There it goes. Oh. Thank you. The man here is cutting me another, another piece because that first one wasn't quite medium rare enough. So thank you for that. Got a piece of the top sirloin that's medium rare. Oh, that's actually good. Mm. That's got good flavor. Okay. A, little, a little chewy. Like, very chewy. Really chewy. Okay, so the filet came. Filet's good, nice and tender. Flavor's pretty good. That's a, that's a pretty decent piece of meat, in my opinion. Um, the top sirloin to me had the best flavor, but it was just, there's so much like connective tissue and it was real fatty and so it's real, real, real chewy. Almost, you can't, can't really eat it. I mean, you can, but why would you? But <laughs> this is, this is edible. This is pretty decent. 
Well, I started the day with a salad, ate pretty good all day, and I'm ending it with a chocolate filled crepe, so keeping it real. Yep.